Welcome back everyone to another product review. We're going to look at the AMT Star Destroyer that comes with fiber optic lighting. This is an older kit. I'm um, not very sure what the, the scale size is. It's definitely bigger, a little bit bigger than the Bandai 1-5000s, but it's smaller than the Rebels uh, 1-2700, so it's somewhere in between there. Um, the detail quality is okay. Um, the sides, you know, things are a little blocky, you know, instead of having more detail on those, they're kind of blocky. The, uh, what are they, the deflector the domes are up on the top of the, of the destroyer where the, uh, the bridge and everything is, those two circular things. It doesn't have, like, the line things that go up all the way around it and the little spikes, so I might add some stuff scratch builds to make that look a little more accurate but all in all it's it's a nice kit i got it at a good price um like i said it does come with the fiber optics but of course it's you know from the 90s so that's got christmas tree light bulbs in there or incandescent bulbs in there and so we're definitely going to do away with that a they burn out and once they burn out they're in the ship and that's it but we'll utilize the fiber optics they gave and stuff like that and uh, <clears throat> just update the actual light. Um, I didn't get anything special for it. Uh, before I got the Revell 2700, I was going to do a lot of scratch building to bring this one up to par. But I figured it's just a nice old vintage kit to build. And that's how we're going to deal with it. Just update the lighting to more modern LEDs that will last for pretty much a long time, you know, so, but, uh, yeah, it's a fairly straightforward kit, it's going to have a lot of the hole drilling as well, it did give you a, uh, you know, like those little paint mixer things, it did come with one of these, believe it or not, and this is a used kit, or, you know, a pre-owned kit, um, but, of course, uh, I think the drill works, but of course the little bit is broke. <laughs> <laughs> Which was going to do it anyway. So I don't know if I can uh, drill that out and get my own little bit in there. Or I'm just going to try to find out a way to uh, order a bunch of real tiny bits. And get the uh, chuck that will allow it to fit my Dremel. Or I wouldn't mind, you know. Or just getting around styrene, you know, rod that I can drill a hole so that it goes over this peg does just something like this. Okay, welcome back to another unboxing. We have the uh, old school AMT Star Destroyer with fiber optic lighting system. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just say, this is incandescent. We got Christmas light bulbs in that came with this kit. And they wanted you to lock them up in there and, and they, you know how long Christmas tree bulbs last. And they get hot. So, and that's the problem they had with the actual studio kits because they were using halogen bulbs and they had to have access points to let fans blow on, especially the Star Destroyer. I think they had a meltdown on a one where, like, if they're setting up for cameras, they're like, if you want the lights on, you have to have the fans blowing. And they didn't turn the fans on, the camera guys, and, you know, they came to the model shop and talked to Lauren Peterson and said, uh, yeah, we have a we have an issue. The lights are not as bright and and brilliant. And here they didn't run the cooling fans for the bulbs, and the the bundle of fiber optics came to you know one end for a light to shine on it, and that whole end just started melting and turning black. And yeah, so they had to pretty much get in there. Couldn't move the model. The way it was set up on the, you know, it's already staged, so they had to do their best to cut and make a fresh cut of all those ends of those fibers so that it would allow light to transfer through. But anyway, this is, uh, I do have the Revell 12700 version, which is so much better detailed because it's a newer ship. Um, it's bigger, it's newer. You know, this is from back in, oh my goodness, 95, at least the uh, 
Lucasfilm Limited uh, rights are on here. Yeah, and the Ertl. So yeah, this is 95, you know, which explains the 90s with the, uh, you know, the incandescent bulbs. 14 light sources, yeah. It's a lot of heat. Um, you know, it says over 2,000 uh, fiber optic filaments, 6 volt DC power source requires 4 C batteries, micro drill with drill bit, that's this here, but the drill bit is history, but they did give you a drill bit, which I'm going to try to find another, uh, buy. I'm going to buy a bunch of these small bits and uh, some plastic rods and put those bits in them myself. And that's all it's got to be is a hollow where I can drill that hole on one end to fit over this. And then that'll, we'll see if it works. If not, I have my paint mixer. If not, I'll use my bigger drill. But let's open it up. Oh, by the way, there's what they show in the box. And it's not horrible. It's not bad. But there's a lot of blockiness to it. It's kind of like going from Super NES to to these newer consoles, you know, it's a little more blocky. Like I said, it's only, the Bandai one is what, about this big? From here to here? So it's a little bigger than the Bandai, but the detail in the Bandai one is amazing. You know, like the guns, they almost look recessed. Um, they just did some raised paneling to give you that effect. You know. It's a, you know, hard plot, you know. And here's your bottom but it'll work you know I, I, it's an older kit so i figured i'd keep it i got it you know kind of on a just a whim just to have it you know vintage classic ship kit and then i'll have my newer version here's where it gets starts getting blocky the sides they're just like you know we got one plane and we'll stick some square blocks out to give some dimension that's not bad um these shield generators are just the round balls and now that i see them those don't look bad as far as the balls but they don't have the spikes that go up through like there's little stats that go up and it looks like it goes through all the outsides of those domes so i might just fabricate you know scratch pill those so that's not bad this is nowhere near as detailed as the rebel or the bandai same thing with the engine bells, they're just kind of, they're completely smooth. There's no, there's a little bit of, you know, thruster coning on there. At least they have some of the detail in those smaller ones. But, you know, it is what it is and from this era. There's more side panels and shuttle bay parts. Yeah, like that's not even as raised detail as and there's no real photo etch or anything for this kit there's some things you can do to help the engine bells you can get replacement engine bells i think for it and maybe the, the dome the uh shield generator domes i think you can get replaced but we'll do this as a basic kit there's this is all for the lighting as you can see the incandescent bulbs stick in there and then they you know or they stick in these that's what those little two you know for the positive negative of the bulbs and then these are all the little things that you stick them together so this is all lighting stuff and here's more sidewall stuff and this is the stand they want me to put her on oh and she would sit on a so we'll do that that's not a bad stand it kind of mimics the bandai with a little nameplate so that's not bad there should be no decals because uh, and they give you some uh, light blocking slash reflective tape, duct tape, pretty much. Old school subscribe blueprint things, old Star Wars fan club stuff. Instructions, you know, old school AMT. to tell you how to put the battery park together and then all that stuff 
how to do the wiring and fiber optics and that's those tubes that stick the fibers in and we'll reuse all that stuff yeah and those plugs allow you to stick several smaller plugs and we're going to reuse all that plug work I think I'm just going to put an LED in instead of uh, an incandescent bulb so I'll have to see how many incandescent bulbs I need or how many they used and that might be able to simplify it a little bit I don't know we'll see and that's what I think all this is I think this is the uh, light bulbs in the battery pack and fiber optics yeah there's your there's your humongous humongous battery pack you gotta put kind of put together yeah there's a switch there's a oh okay so this must sit on the ground somewhere then you run this wire out and plug it into the ship hmm and here's all your incandescent bulbs look at that anybody need any white bulbs for their uh and you got different sizes Crazy. anybody need any can uh, extra tree lights bulbs there you go well you got a switch here which you gotta pop out so they make you do some building here that's pretty neat you gotta pop out i don't know where the screws are yeah that's interesting and where did they want this in the ship probably somewhere yeah but where the screws are for this would be interesting I got some so and you can go either way and you just stick that cord out but we're not doing battery so all this doesn't really matter anyway I don't know how I'm gonna do this to be honest I don't know if I'm gonna use this stand and or do I get some type of power into the ship like the Bandai has a, you know you got to lift something apart to hit a switch I mean I could hold hide a jack and put a jack in the back on the bottom of this I wonder where they're saying to do that that, that would be interesting why do I think yeah they're saying right there So coming out of the man to find a page so you can open anything. Yeah, so we wouldn't need any of this at all. I don't think, unless I do it that way. But I wouldn't do it with battery source I would do it with a uh, just a two millimeter jack plug and then but I don't want anything I'd rather do it at the bottom if I do it at all it's gonna come out of the bottom and it had to be fairly down and like in here or something because they have it way up in here trying to find where they show you to cut that out it's not on these pages yeah they're showing it there going into there and then you plug it in like that hmm I don't think we're gonna do that but we'll figure it out when we get to it but we won't be using batteries What's, what's the voltage on this? What did it say? Six volts DC power source. So am I, I'm either gonna have to use my one of my converters to drop my, or I can get a six volt transformer for it too. That'd probably be the easiest way. And save those. And here's all the fiber optics. And whatever that is oh power cables to run from I guess for the switch 
how do you tie the switch into this? It's interesting because that's the straight up power. For all that internal wires and stuff so they give you some wiring so that's cool and that doesn't seem like a lot of fiber optics but it's long and you're gonna just go short runs to different areas so yeah we'll we'll get a six volt transformer and just plug it in and I think I'll just maybe I will just make it a plug-in and keep it on a stand and when I want it running I'll plug it in and maybe I will just use the way they wanted to do it, right, in that spot. We're just going to change the bulbs out and the... Let's put this in first since it's... And, yeah, let's get this stuff all in here. That can go in there and that can go in there. Yeah, like I said, I'm not seeing the tiny screws unless they're in this bag somewhere and they're invisible. But that's okay. They probably were in there one time. But, like I said, I don't need that many. I can use that switch for some other model quick. And I might just, like I said, just keep it just the way they, they were doing it. I can paint that part white. Or the, you know, the hall color. Or, or is that part? That's what's confusing me. I want to see what I have to cut into. It's, I think that. I'm not mistaken I think it's this piece but that don't seem like that's big enough to cut a jack into yeah that's the piece Just have to cut it in here somewhere where it looked like where the shuttle or the you know dumpster thing is or maybe I can find another spot to put it maybe I will get it down in the bottom because it wouldn't be hard to do like so, I, I, you know that's gonna come in a bit so I could probably do it somewhere it's like, do I do it on that dome? <laughs> I could probably do it somewhere back here. It's just a shame, you know, I could, even if I use one of mine, round ones. But he, Oh, here's the stand point. So I probably put it off the one side like that, you know, maybe off this way. And have her plugged in. Instead of way up here, blocking the engine bells. And for this one, that would be fine. You know, or back here somewhere. Just where, because these, those engine things ca concave in. So you're going to need some spot the way they come in. So I would say if anywhere back here. And then depending on how I'm going to display it, I can push it off to one of these sides. And it wouldn't be bad. But if I can get it right in where the stand is and it's a little more hidden because there's already going to be the stand parts holding it. So that'll work. I think I'll just keep it simple stupid with this one. The Ravel one's going to be um boy I don't know. What are we doing with that? Are we going to keep her on a stand and have power go up or I'm gonna have her up. She's a big. I think I'm gonna have her up and on one of my big rods. A permanent mount. This one we can have lifted off and on. Same with the smaller one. The bigger one's gonna be in a permanent mount. I still gotta do a, something with my big full stick ale uh, uh, falcon. What I wanted, how I wanted to display that, but. 
until I get my house and I naked it into where it wants to be. I'm just leaving her as is. But there he is. Um, we'll have another Star Destroyer build. Uh, I'm not going to be in a terrible rush to do this one. It might be a good one to, to do before I do the the one twenty seven hundred just to get into that flow. You know, and maybe do them almost at the same time because it's going to be the same painting scheme. And uh, I can experiment on this one. While, you know, if I need something arises to come up, I want to test something on this. But it's very cool. Um, still, you know, for the money, it's it's and you can find it fairly good price. Um, it's worth it. So I hope you come back to watch the actual build. Um, until then. Have a good one and take care.